15 March, Wednesday. Let's discuss today market technical outlook with the TWB system, shall we? Let's go. Now, the Dow Jones have pulled back this morning. Today, during the morning session, when I was talking to my students, I told them that the Dow will come off. And true be told, it's actually happening right now. Whatever gains that the Dow did yesterday is now all given back. And this is not a good sign because if that happened, I can tell you guys very safely, the moment the Dow Jones actually uh, break this support level, we can see that every time when it goes there, it always rebound, right? About 31,792. When that happened, that means that, right, the market will be going down towards 31,411, okay? So I'm going to say it one more time. If the Dow Jones do go below 31,790, there's a very, very strong and high chance the Dow will see 31,411 in the near term. All right, this is something that I've been sharing and I want you to be very clear with this because a lot of people now is saying that, all right, um, you know, the markets will rebound. But I can tell you this, this is not going to happen because the 10 year yield itself, right, is actually moving up again. All right, the 10 year yield actually creep up. And that is not a good sign because when that happened, that basically tells you that uh, the market is not buying into a rate pause. In fact, they are looking at still a rate hike of 25 basis point. And of course, every 25 basis point increment is going to really damage a lot of banks' balance sheet. And this is not good at all. And when banks now know that they can do a moral hazard by basically telling the Federal Reserve that you saved me because I got too big to fail, or if I fail, things may happen this, then of course, the banks will take the all easier way out. Seriously, they take the easier way out and get it done over it. So we have seen this before in Lehman Brothers' time, and I believe that it's going to happen again. And this time around, it could be even worse. So that is why I've been telling you guys this, be very, very careful. Now let's look at the market right now to take a look to see how it's happening here. Okay, the Dow Jones first to begin with. Hold on, yep. Wrong chart. <laughs> okay, moment. Okay, so the Dow Jones day chart shows explicitly that the market cannot break above the BNB SL level. Now this SL level was tested again this morning to after near noon period. You can see on the five minute chart, this is the SL level. The market tested it the first time, tried to go above it, but failed within half an hour. Then you try again and look at it. Multiple time on a five minute, the market tried to go above the BNB SL level, but it failed. And then of course, after so many rounds of testing, it couldn't hold anymore bang this is where it all started and once it gives goes below the opening price and below pivot one we all know that in twb this warrant selling and of course when you break mlp that's it game over 32,013 is the mlp and look at the market the way it fell right now wow look at it it's a waterfall down so we do suspect that the market will try and test 31,789 the level i mentioned very soon by today and then let's see whether it rebound I suspect it will rebound. That's where as traders should consider to buy back some of your short position. But if the market later on after rebound pulls down again, then this time round, the selling can really, really go down to the low of 31,411. Yeah. So traders, watch out for that. Okay. This is not going to be a joking matter here. All right. So that is the Dow Jones. Let's look at the NASDAQ, shall we? Now the NASDAQ, right, you can see it's pulling back now. It's heavily resisted by the KCB at 12,228. And you can see that's a double there because it's a double KCB at the same time. So which means that now the market has broke below the MA30 and more likely going to test the 12,074 MLP level. Yeah, this is actually very, very possible. Let me just uh, double check this to the screen again. Now, the thing is this, the KSI was green last night. The KRW is cyan. So that should leave some buying interest at the bottom. So I do suspect we may see some buying at about 12.074 at the MLP point. So traders watch out for that. But at the moment now, it's selling and it's going to follow through. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Not China. Huh. Too fast. Okay, let's look at S&P 500. There we go, S&P 500. Here we go. Now, S&P 500, you can see that it rejected the BNB support level. Uh, let's do the five minute to see clearer. You can see how it goes. Right, the market was trading higher this morning, but once it failed and started when the GTH started, you can see the market slammed down all the way, break below the uh, BNB support level. 
and that happened to coincide with the KTR minus one. And now you see the selling is going at a very, very fast speed. All right, I'm seeing right now, you can see on a screen, the gold price is going up. That means that there are some fear going on in the market because there's nothing on in the dollar. The dollar is actually strengthening at the moment. So the only reason why gold is buying up while this is actually coming down, the only reason is because there's fear in the market. And when it's fear the market, it's all right. Usually people buy some gold to protection says, but the thing is, is this may not sustain because um, after a while later, when they need to dump anything that's precious or valuable, they may target gold. Yeah, so gold traders be very, very careful on this. Don't join the fray and get a hit, okay? All right, so that is the Dow Jones and S&P and the NASDAQ. Let's look at the Nikkei right now. So for the Nikkei, wow, look at the Nikkei. What a plunge. The Nikkei has collapsed this morning. Look at the Nikkei. Now we've been calling for sell on the Nikkei. Remember that? And I told you if the, NAS, if the Nikkei breaks the MA200 and the MLP, it will come down and look at it. In a single day, the Nikkei has came down more than 580 points. Is it because there's some news on the BOJ? I haven't got any news yet, but possible to. So where is it going to go? Well, 26,683. That's the level because that's the next number that's available on my screen. And usually the market will have a follow through effect on that. Okay. So KSI is red. KLW is cyan. So we do see some, there'll be some buying, but overall selling should be able to showcase uh, quite strongly here. Okay. So we are done on the Nikkei. Let's look at the Hang Seng right now. Now, guys, I've been telling you this, Hang Seng must stay above the extension. But if they cannot do that itself, right, today is a DJ, DD day. We all know that as it mean, there is going to be a single direction day. Now, at the start of the day, the market went up instead. It was from 19,545, it went to 19,753. But once it loses the BNB extension, it reversed backward and came down instead. So how low would it go, right, guys? I believe that the Hang Seng may test. 18,984, which means that another 330 point downside. Well, is it possible? Well, pivot two is 18925. I think it's why not? So, of course, it has to be because of the Dow just going down by a few hundred points. Now, if I believe the Dow is going to hit 31411, I mean, there's no brainer that it's very possible going to happen. Okay? So, until we see that point, then we look at it. Because I strongly believe that the market will come here. 18.984 uh, 18, uh, in the near term, okay? And I'm seeing right now, the Dow is coming down still continuously, the Nasdaq is down, S&P is down, and gold is shooting up. So guys, I'm kind of feeling that something's going to be very bad these few days, yeah? Now, look at the FTSE. Oh gosh, look at FTSE, it's crashing. Now, FTSE was down from here. We call for sell at 8,000, remember? And now it's down by 500 points already. It's almost 10%, yeah? Look at the FTSE. It gap up this morning and it's crashing right now. Broke below pivot MLP, broke below MA200. This is bad because it broke below the MA200 means the market is actually really selling right now. The fresh KCB is at 7478. 7, the market should be going there because the market loves crash, fresh KCB, all right? You love it. So likely it's going to go there. And the next fresh KCB, how low can it be? Wow, 7406, okay? So that means that the FTSE can drop by another 100 point, either today or tomorrow. I don't know, but at least we know the numbers. KSI is red, KRW is red. Gosh, this is terrible. Now DAX also is coming down right now. DAX is down quite a fair bit. Let me take a look. The DAX is down by one, 300 over points. Wow, that is bad. Okay, so what's happening? Now, the fresh KCB is here, 14,822. That means we have about 100 points away. And is it possible? I think it will happen, yeah? So, if the um, DAX goes down to this point here, right, it, that will be the first support. But you notice that there's more fresh KCB everywhere, and this is not going to be good. Now, if DAX going to go down, obviously, you're going to see a lot of money going down. And of course, again, I repeat, Credit Suisse is my main thing. I still think that Credit Suisse will see $2, okay? Really. All right, so let's see how it goes later on. So I'm done with the indices. This is crazy. This is bad. Uh, for China, market is down. It has broke below the 12, 13,000 psychological barrel. Yesterday, it was above it. Today, it's below it right now. So 12,796 will be the target. And we are now about 110 points away. Is it possible? I cannot believe it is really possible. All right, so we're done with the indices. Let's look at the, um, the crude oil market. Now, I already told you guys about crude oil. If crude oil price is coming down, most likely, right, and it's, a, it's a strong representation that the economy, the US economy, the entire economy is bad. And now the market has broke below the BNB support level, right, at 7221. So if the market continue to break 7119, 
there's a very good chance we can see crude oil going down to $69. And if it goes there, then what will happen? That means that the, the US and the global recession fear will really, really mount. And when that all happens itself, right? Yes, inflation might be put down, but recession cuts will be on the table. Now, if I to buy some crude oil, I still think that 67.10 will be a very good time to buy some crude oil. So traders, if you already bought chrome crude oil, consider to uh, do some hedging because if the market breaks $71, there'll be a free fall to 69 and it's possible, especially if the market talk about the recession risk here. Yeah? Okay, once gold uh, is done, let's look at the gold price right now. Now, just now I was telling to you guys, gold price is shooting up, okay? It was, was 1904, it went down all the way to 185 and now it recovered now why is it so strong look at it ksi is green kcx is blank this is a very strong buy signal okay so the thing is this fundamentally we all know that the dollar is going up right now by right the gold should be going down but you can see that the price action shows different thing and of course the buyers are really relentless so this is good if gold price later on because i suspect again if there's going to be some bulk selling on gold to just uh, get some cash. I think that once gold comes down to 186768, it will be a very good time to buy some gold because that means that this gold is going to go for the next level and it could be going as high as 1950. Okay, so that's why look out for gold, it could be a very good buy later on. Silver has stayed on, silver is a DJ DD increase interestingly, and now it's touching 2176. So if silver push up above $22, silver can go all the way. To twenty-two dollars and fifty-six cents. All right. Same thing, guys. If gold is gonna get, get some sell down later on, silver will get the same treatment. But overall, overall, this can be a good buy on silver and gold. All right. So gold and silver is done. Let's look at the Bitcoin and Ethereum to wrap it up. Oh, sorry, I forgot the currency market. Let's take the currency first. Okay, the dollar yen. You can see now the dollar yen has. Um, Okay, the dollar has actually pulled, actually came off. That's the reason why the dollar actually reversed. Let me just check the dollar for a while. Yeah, that's right. I didn't check that sound earlier. Let me just check on the dollar, quick one of dollar. Wow, this is bad. If the dollar is coming down on its own, that means that something's bad. Right, take a look. Oh, nope, the dollar is up. Hmm, interesting. That means it must be BOJ side already. Okay, the dollar is up. Interesting. Okay, so the thing is this, the dollar here now is trading lower. Likely something must have happened on BOJ side. And today you can see the market touching 13506, the MA30 beautifully, and then now it's rejecting it coming back now. So um the dollar yen it will be now heavily supported at 133.725. That will be the support. The KSI, let's take a look quick one. The KSI is all green, but the KW is all red. Mm, so there'll be a fight. Well, how low will it go? Well, I think with the dollar is actually positive, kind of question mark here. I think that we can see 133 first. Okay, 133 should be the first target. 133. 2.41 will be the stronger support, yeah, if you ask me. All right, the pound, let's take a look at the pound. Now, the pound is now down. That's why the dollar should be weak. It should be, should be strong, yeah, and it's happening. Now, the pound basically rejected pivot to 1.217, and it's coming down around. So, I think that pound will come down to the BNB RL level at 1.2065. Yeah, I think pound will go there. Now, KSI and KW actually is actually positive to pound, but I believe that if the dollar is going to strengthen, this is going to be very easy. Yeah, So watch out for this. And for the euro, well, you can see the euro is coming off. You have the DJDD today. Euro has broke below the BNB RL, and uh, it's going to test the MA30 at 1.0647. If you ask me, it's a very fresh chocolate bar right here. I believe that euro will come back down to 1.0577. That's about 100 pips away. Is it possible? I think it is really possible. Yep. Okay, I'm done everything on the currency side too. Let's look at the Bitcoin and Ethereum. Well, Bitcoin is now here. Okay, let me just, um, just do some. Okay, moment. Yeah, I think there's some error on my side. Just give me a moment. Okay. Moment, yeah. Symbols to share. Crypto majors. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's look at Bitcoin right now. Bitcoin yesterday shot up all the way to 60, uh, 26,400. What a run. 
I mean, seriously, this run, I, I miss it, I risk, I miss it everything. But this pullback actually warrants tell me that Nasdaq should be very careful, right? Because we all seen before, when the Nasdaq, when the Bitcoin shoot up and pull back so strongly, usually the Nasdaq will do the same thing too. So today, 25,025 is a BNB extension. I believe that will be resistant. But the pivot to 24,096 will be the support. If the Bitcoin breaks here, 24,000, selling should be able to be seen. It should be bringing back down all the way to the BNB uh, support level at 23,000. The BNB RL level is here and the market is now holding it. Okay, so watch out for this. It is very, very possible. And last but not least is Ethereum. Ethereum has basically now lost pivot 2 level. Uh, pivot 1 pivot 2 is very far away. So if the market loses pivot 2, you should sell, right? Yes, indeed. So MLP1682 will be the key support, which is happening right now. If the market breaks it, 15888 will be the first target. Yep. All right, for the Ethereum, everything looks good. So it's going to be difficult for the Bitcoin Ethereum to come down because of their dollar relationship. And we can see that if the dollar really, really looks towards to climb, then of course, these two currency, these two commod, these two instrument, both Bitcoin and Ethereum may pull back a little bit. Yeah. All right, hope you enjoyed this, this video. I wish you the best. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Take care. Bye bye.